Hey guys and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about how to have a dynamic chart where when your users open the, ch open the chart, they automatically see data for the maximum year. And if only when they select a year does, um, does the values change. But otherwise, by default, it shows the maximum year uh, available in the data set. So as you can see here, I have um, I have data only till 2018 uh, because this is my data set. Don't ask me why. I guess I'm living in the past as always. Um, so it's showing me without any, if your data set is for 2021 or 2022, if you're in the future, well, it's going to show you that particular year. And um, unless, of course, the user makes a selection. Now, if I make a selection for 2015, it's going to show me the 2015 data and you can see the labels here has changed to 2015 and uh, all the data is selected for 2015. But if I remove it, then it's not going to show me the entire data, it, the sum of all data till 2018. Instead, it's going to show me only the latest year that is 2018. So when I click on 2018, you see that there is no change. Um, and I think this is super nice because most of the time you want users to automatically see the data for uh, year to date or the current year. So if, unless they make a selection. So if that's what you want to learn how to do, um, that's what we're going to see in this, um, in this particular video. So stick around. So how do we do this? Let's, let's just start a new sheet first. So I'm gonna, um, um just put a filter pane first of all, just so I know, um, Let's say filter pane and I'm going to put my year here. This is going to make things a little bit more simpler, right? Um, and then let's put two bar charts. One chart here, one chart here. Let's make one of them as um, country and I don't have my measures yet and let's make one of mine as well just to make things simpler let's put overall sales here i have something called sales and here i'm gonna put maybe products and i'm gonna put the length as well let's put it as sales for now and we can always change it later right let's just make this just so we know yeah and what we want to do first is here, we want it automatically to select the maximum year here. So I have data from 2013 to 2018. So I want it to select 2018. And when somebody opens this app, I want it to automatically select 2018 and show the data for 2018. So we could do that by going in and selecting 2018. This is the data. Um, and if we just put labels to make things easier, we see that, yeah. So step number one, what we're gonna do is first create a variable. So we're gonna create a variable which selects the year. So in case I make a selection in the year field here, then I want the variable to select the year. For example, if somebody goes in and says 2014, then I want it, I want the year to just show 2014. Otherwise, I want it to automatically show the maximum year that is 2018. So first let's select, let's create a variable. So let's go to variables here in the front end and create new and I'm, and I'm going to name this year. Um, we sell year and let's give it a definition of course. Um, and it's going to be so Let's give it an if statement. So what we want to do is if, if the user has selected a year, so now we have, um, a, we have year. So if a user has selected a year, then let's say that get selected count. So we have a function here called get selected count. That is if a user has selected one or two or three years, then it's going to count how many times the user has selected stuff from a particular field. So I'm going to say get selected count from the year, from the field year. And if the user has not selected anything, then 
get selected count would be zero, right? But if a user has selected something, then the get selected count would be one or two or three or whatever. So if get selected count from the field year is greater than zero, then you want to bring in whatever the user has selected in the field year. In the field year. So we're going to say um, get field selections and what is the field that is the year right but in case nothing is selected that means the user has made no selections then what do you want then you want to want it to automatically select the maximum year in that case i want to say get maximum value of year so if you have data till 2021 then it's going to bring in 2021 right so once again, we have something called get selected count, which means if you have a field and the user selects once or twice or thrice, it gives you the count of that. And I'm going to say the field that I wanted to count is the year field. So if the user has selected a field, then this would be greater than zero. Um, and if it is greater than zero, then bring in all the selections, whatever the user has selected. Otherwise, bring in the maximum year. Um, so this should be it so now we have v selected here um, and we have selected it here let's just do a quick test so let's put kpi here and and we just want to we just want to check if what we're doing is correct right so let's put a dollar and we bring in um, the variable that we selected that is variable yeah so let's see if this is um, and it's showing in a different format 2018 yeah and that's the maximum year so i haven't selected anything so it's showing 2018 but if i select 2016 then it's going to show 2016 right so that's exactly what we want so step one was to create a variable like this where get selected count for my field year if it's greater than zero, then I want it to get all the selections that the user makes for the field zero. Otherwise, I just wanted to bring the maximum one. Now, how do we how do we incorporate that into our measure here? So what we need to do is um, let's take this away. And what we need to do is so here we have normal sales. So this sales corresponds to any year that you select, but you want a different measure here. So let's create a new measure and so the measure that we have is sales so let's say let's create a new measure uh, we say automatic just just to know so now our sales measure here is sum of unit price times quantity but now we want to incorporate the a set expression here so you want the set expression to only calculate for that particular outcome right so here let's let's create our set expression so open curly brackets and right and we're gonna say that our field is year you always want your your field to be restricted based on the outcome of your variable depending on whether the user is selected so it's going to be equal to and open curly brackets again and you're gonna say that you want it to be inside commas because you're selecting a particular year and you're gonna say open bracket is equal to um our variable that is what is the name of our variable we sell year and we close that yes oh don't you just love it when you try to do set expression and it just comes out i mean yeah so over here it shows that right now 2018 is selected and that's the output of your variable and it's being shown here and it's inside the brackets and the set expression is year is selecting 2018 and that's exactly what you want so if you if the user would select a year 
then the output of this particular variable would be that year that the user was selected. So it could be 2016 and this one would change to 2016 and your measure for sales would only calculate for that particular year. In this case, like it would be 2016 if the user selected 2016 and that's exactly what you want. So perfect. Um, let's click on apply. So this is sales automatic and um, we could even give just to make sure we could see uh, let's give a label expression here. Let's say sales for um, space bracket and then we say and um, we bring in our and maybe this is wrong. Yeah, I need to bring in dollar and dollar right so now it brings in this should be correct and let's just drag and drop it here just to see if it works and drag and drop it here just to see if it sells okay so now it's showing, so this bar here for sales is showing overall sales and this is, should be for 2018. But if I select 2018, then both should be the same. Yes, and if I remove it, then this bar is showing 2018 while the other one is showing for overall. But if I select a different year, yes, this is exactly what we want right so now what i'm gonna do is go here and i'm going to take away my old sales because we don't want that and we're gonna take this away as well and we're gonna go to sorting and put sales on top and we're gonna go here and we're going to put sales on top hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, and uh, so I've taken that away. Now let's go to edit sheet. It's a little hard right, right now. It's showing for 2018. If I select 2014, then it would show you for 2014. And this is what we wanted. So now it's showing for the current year, 2018, but it's a little bit hard, right? You don't know. So let's let's change that. So let's go select on the graph let's go here um, let's go to our appearance and let's go to general let's go to title and here let's give a give an expression that we want to say so you put um, a bracket open bracket and then you say sales per country Four, and let's give a space here and close and click and we want to bring in um, and we want to bring in our variable so and we sell here and close right so now when you click on apply sales per so whatever the output of your variable is it shows over here as well so we know sales per country for 2018 and when we select 2015 the measure changes as well as sales per country for 2015 so now it's super easy to know let's just do that for our other graph as well let's go here let's go to sales per product for give a space and bring in our variable and yes. All right, so we have a data set where nothing is, when the user doesn't select anything, it selects the maximum year. But when the user selects a year, it shows the year that is selected. So I think these are, this can actually improve your 
your dashboard quite a bit. Everybody, when they open the app, they want to know what's happening in the current year for the most part, right? So it's super nice to have um, have something like this. I really, really hope it helps you and um, stay tuned for more. And please like, please subscribe. Um, check out my other channel. I have a channel on just general improvement and stuff if you're interested. But otherwise, please like, subscribe and stay tuned for more. Peace.